Welcome out, gamers and gamettes, on this national video game day to this RGL.GG Invite Highlander cast, week six, going on between Kids Next Door and Apollo Dosh, a clash between the two undefeated teams remaining in this season, both sitting at 5-0, and looking to see what will likely be the first seed going into playoffs tonight on PL Upward. I am Alto, joined to my side by Zag, Dolphin behind the camera as always. Zag, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I'm excited to see this clash of our two favorite teams going up against each other on Upward, one of the staple Highlander maps. It's really going to show who has momentum coming into the playoff run shortly. Yeah, it should be very good to see it as uh, we both are, both of these teams actually have now dropped rounds, as I believe K&D's round came very early in the season in week one back against Invitus, and we saw AD drop their first rounds last week, actually, against uh, against Biffle's best friends forever. A team that I know is now having some um, some troubles otherwise may or may not be dead, um, which is unfortunate. But we do have what's kind of, you know, been the most awaited matchup of this regular season, I would say, to look to see these two teams go at it. Since going into the season, you know, K&D had one last season. They're kind of the historical favorites now that there's no Froyo or Irene or DK to really contest them in terms of most experience left in Highlander. But, you know, AD, I know they've been taking some rounds off of them in scrims at times and... You know, Upward's a great map for uh, Arts Spanian, I believe, who is the only player not yet in the server. Um, but other than that, you know, should be a very close match. I'm very look much looking forward to it. K&D, it looks like, will not have Bowl of Mayo on Demo Man either. They will have Jarrett, who, well, despite being, you know, such an old veteran, I don't think has that same kind of explosive power that Bowl has. So maybe a little bit of a boon for AD tonight. Yeah, and while we're at it, we can uh, run down the entire rosters. I'll start with Candy. We have Banny on Scout, Habib on Soldier, Obliv on Pyro, Jarrett on Demoman, Kresnik on Heavy, Scratchy on Engineer, Nursey on Medic, Boar on Sniper, and Demento on Spy. Yeah, I'm running down AD. I believe I was incorrect. It doesn't look like Arts is going to be here either, as Lazar is in the server on Demoman. So they will have Wish on Scout, Dev on Soldier, River on Pyro, the aforementioned Lazar on Demo. Ronnie J on Heavy, Exa Engineer, Wall on Medic, Shay on Sniper, and Mad Ring Me on Spy. Yeah, and uh, as stated before, this is kind of a clash of the two most favorited teams going into playoffs, and they're teams that have been together for, you know, long before RGL Highlander was a thing. And they, they, they've they been the most stable teams since RGL Highlanders come along. You know, they've been able to kind of find their flow, find their team synergy the most, and they've stuck together throughout the seasons. So we should be able to see them bring out some interesting strategies or just cohesive teamwork on upward with such a such an old map such a staple map that everyone's going to really know how to play it we'll see who can bring you know the bag of tricks out get an advantage coming into the first round soon as one team has readied up yeah hopefully the other will be up soon so we can get right into this but i do think that ad is definitely the underdog here um, K and D with so much experience, especially on upward means they've had so much time to really refine their strategies. And if you've ever had to push into K and D on upward second, when they've gotten, gotten a hold up, it's, it's not a fun experience. And I still feel like even without bull there that, you know, that veteran combo now of Kresnik, Jared and Nursey echoes back to like the season 15 UGC golden days as we are getting live here. So with the minute, uh, coming up, Zag, I want to get a little bit on your predictions, who you think are going to be players to watch and what to look for coming out on first. Uh, I'd really just watch for Demento coming out on first for the can yeah the candy offense. Uh, he's such a vocal you know a vocal driving force in this team, and he's gonna surely be calling for some kind of sack play or collapse play to try to get an advantage early on. Uh, look for Candy to try to roll fast you know through the first point, and if they can get momentum going, the AD's gonna have a hard time setting up to stop them. Uh, I do think that overall Candy will have the advantage coming into the map you know as you said. So it's really whether or not AD are able to kind of like, you know, put a wall up, see if they can stall them enough time to give themselves a chance. We, as we do see Candy on offense, they are a team that really likes to set their pace, you know, so they know what they have to do. And, you know, coming out, we will see them be able to do that. Uh, right now we have, you see, Dev running the black box conch setup. He's going to be playing that cliffside solo holding that. As we see, Sticky Trap's going to be put up. No crit stickies, but with that, it's almost time for the gate to go down and get started. Yeah, as the gate comes out, we'll have to see what happens here. It looks like most of the KD is going to be coming out of that left side as is standard. Jarrett not going for the immediate jump we'll, we see out of the other uh, candy demo ball of Mayo. He's just going to get up on hill a little bit slower. Mad Cloaked and going to try to get some call in Oblivion. Going to be the first one going down to Wish. Actually, nothing yet from the snipers, but Habib on the DH going to take out the gun early. A good start. 
Yeah, Demento is gonna decloak on this teleporter very shortly. He's gonna go for the sap actually, so he will get that out. He will get traded out on the back end of it. Not yet actually, he does escape. Crescent goes down with the snipe from Shay, so a bit hard to push up to start with. Jarrett getting a kill onto Dev though, so that soldier off of the off of that cliffside means you can now walk up as Habib is looking to try to spam out the gun with the direct hit. Uh, Jacob's gonna be back in a second as the DH does take that gun down at the end. And now the Uber is gonna be coming shortly. We see Mad Ringmi going for an aggressive play to try to get that medic drop. Will decloak, will get spotted, will not get that pick. Well actually get counter yeah. spotted by Dementia. Shea spawn. having gone down to four just a second ago, gonna open up that uh that playground to let KD get onto Hill right now. Nursey playing aggressively and Wall gonna drop to Jared. The Stinky's getting in there. I didn't see if she died instantly or it was just a slow deaths coming in. But that is not how AD want to start off this match, as KD does not have to pop Uber for first. They're gonna get momentum going into second. Habib we've got a little bit over aggro on Hill right now, but Shay taking out Jarrett might help stem the bleeding, but unless Boar can go down and AD can take Hill control back, then KD is gonna look to have an easy time through second. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, if they can get their momentum going, it's so hard for AD to put a stop to it. And Nursey still having this Uber charge is exactly what they need to kind of enact that plan. So we do see Kresnik moved up, cleans up that U-turn tunnel, and KD are in full control of the hill with Uber as well. So when that cart gets up, they're gonna look to drop down and just secure this point quick and easy. Yeah, times three on there. Scratchy and Banny doing their best to get that through tunnel. They're almost done with it. Jared and the rest of the KD team playing very aggressively on the second. AD pretty much being forced out to third. They're holding in the house right now. Maybe doing a bit of a passive hold, knowing, trying to milk as much time as they can out of it, which is a good idea as long as they can make sure they don't get flanked right now. Oblivion forcing Dev back off to the tracks, and it looks like the backup is going to be sounded. A second comes in 204 through two. A great time for KD. And they still the haven't even popped a single Uber yet. Wall about to come up on her second of the match as a uh, mad will get a spy skull melted but does oh, air blasted off the cliff there he goes so spies down on that one again still with full uber we just see boar being walked up the catwalk to try to peek onto this uh this upper area for the defense can try to find that sniper pick so they can walk up uh dev gonna go up instantly gets picked out as the bomb comes in from the soldier demo combo candy doesn't get anything though yeah have even jared both gonna go down to the wrangler x uh playing well gonna get banny too for the 3k wall not being forced to pop so you know, Nursey having Uber there and still not getting Wolf's Force is a good, you know, is a net positive for AD. They're able to finally get a little bit of time onto the clock. And uh, as we're going through, it looks like KD is just going to try to get some advantage. Boar finding the snipe onto Ronnie should open up U turn, maybe for some pressure. Dev going to rotate into there as he should be, but Soldier a lot easier to force out than a heavy. Boar is mad. insane. He 180 oh. headshot on the decloaking spy. Yeah, gotta Five get taken speed. out. Candy really starting to push up now, though. We see Habib into Seahouse doing his best. Uh, X is not gonna go down. We're gonna keep the gun. But Jared getting caught out. Shay getting sniped, though. Frags are going to AD's favor right now. Nursey still hasn't popped Uber, but Kresnik and Obliv are in U-turn, taking really good control of that. Dev doesn't know. He's gonna get forced out. Die go down to the flare, and Oblivion's running out into fourth upper right now, Hard while Nursey back. still has Uber. Uh, yeah, their, their scout did end up getting off that card. Scratchy's on it now as they're looking to take control of this U-turn area. Oblivion's in behind here in the lunchbox as Crescent trying to pressure on the front will force the Uber out. Yeah, this Uber trade finally going on. River gonna back off right now, I guess. Decided maybe to give it up. I think maybe they lost too much pressure. I don't know. It looks like though AD is gonna back out into upper. I thought they might have had the opportunity to hold that, but maybe they were too concerned about Oblivion flanking in the post fight. I'm not entirely sure what made them call that, but four minutes through third is... Still a fantastic time for KD. It's a blazing time, and yeah, KD just did such a good job of spreading pressure there. You had Oblivion, Kresnik, Boar, all pressuring different angles, scratchy wrangling from cart. So hard for AD to actually get that re-engage that you were talking about. You know, they couldn't really get out there with all their angles being shut down, and they are now back on their last point. They don't have tiles control, so they're going to be playing from their spawn here. Yeah, and this spawn hold is something that can be pulled off if the players are alive for it, but Ronnie getting sni yeah, sniped not a, out. Not Boar's anything not, to say about it. Yeah, with Boar being up there, you really want to make sure their uh, sniper can't get control of upper like that if you're going to do this kind of passive hold. Liz are able to take him out with the stick. He's going to open up a lot of ground for them. Dev pushing out into lower, going to get reflected by Oblivion as more players on AD continue to bleed out and go down. Kresnik and Nursey sitting in upper right now are just a rock, not giving any ground over to AD. Habib in on the bomb to Lizard, gonna go down, but he takes him low as the card is nearing the ramp. No one on AD is able to defend it. Oblivion dying to the reflect pipe there will buy a bit of time, but now we have that Banny on the card for the times two. Oh, Uber Rivers will get able pops, it. back down. Kresnik now on it, the heavy a lot harder to deal with. And this will be the cap coming in as the trying to get the air blast, blast. No, he, he can't. Couldn't. And 5 
12, 12. first half, an absolutely blazing time for K&D. ADs really does not have any room for error here. If they want to have any shot at getting this half back, they're going to have to get out, hit him hard, hit him fast. And I mean, we saw K&D made it to third off of basically using one Uber, and they're going to need to even have match to use that. the Uber, yeah, and up until that third push. So, and when we say it has to be error free from AD, it has to be better than that. You have to not make any errors, and you have to force errors as well. You know, when your medic drops on first wall, you know, not being able to trade that Uber means second is unholdable, third is a free walk up. So, if AD really want any hope in this round, they need to start making plays quick, as five minutes and 11 seconds is definitely not a lot of time to go off of. They're going to have to set a blazing pace to start out with, and they're going to have to carry it all the way through. Otherwise, we're looking at a quick 1 0 for KD. Yeah, 20 seconds left, and I might be looking to see if uh, maybe some crits or something's going to come out from Wall. Looks like she is going to stay on that Uber right now. It's 10 seconds crest down. It means that it's unlikely to see the change. And again, I don't even know if they really want to waste time sacking here. Because, well, I guess if they can get a drop or a first force out of Nursey, then it would be worth it. But, you know, Nursey's so experienced in this, it's, I don't, wouldn't say that's likely to happen. Yeah, definitely not, and you know, we'll have to see what their play is coming out here. It does not look like they're walking their medic out of spawn yet, so a sack might come in. We see Dev positioning on the tracks, looking to jump, as he oh. will jump now onto playground, instantly shut down by Vanny and Borg. Lizard, though, doing the bull parachute sack from the back, not going to be able to take anything out. Krishna goes down to Mad, so one frag there, but not really a whole ton to push off of. AD may need to go off of it, though, once they get their uh, demo spawn back up. Demento going to go down, so no comms. If they cannot bleed anyone else here, as Shay gets the shot onto Boar, exactly what AD would need in order to get a quick uh, come to get or a quick uh, what's it called push off of first here. Wall and Liz are gonna run up right now over on the hill, and this Uber is gonna get popped immediately. Coming in, there is no coordinated sap on the gun, so that's gonna be an issue. President gets stabbed again, actually, as the Uber comes act back on the red way back the defense. Oh uh, yeah, Madden unable to take out that engineer. The gun still going strong at half health. Yeah. Habib getting kills as they bunch up on cart and Habib, yeah, just up on that cliff, gonna rain down destruction onto that, and oh, that that push, you know, you want to say, oh, they didn't get first immediately, it's not that bad, but with four minutes left on the clock Ooh. for the rest of the map, Shay taking out Nursey, gonna be a huge pick right there, did not see that angle where he got it from, but no one on AD still able to get in there, as Scratchy's gun is still alive. Yeah, they will wrangle it out, though, you know, that pick on Nursey will end up giving that point up, and with... Under four minutes left to defend, you're kind of okay with doing that as long as you get your gun out. We do know Candy loves this tunnel hold with Scratchy's gun waiting on the outside of it. If they get Nursey back, they'll be able to hold. We do see Boar already into that B window, so he's going to be shutting down that hill area real quick. We do see AD looking to opt into the tunnel push here as fast as they can, trying to get this gun out before they set up, and they do get the gun quickly. So big play from them coming in. They're going to look to walk a few turn and get hill control that way. Yeah, three minutes left on the clock. There still is time for this, but if they get times three early off Uber. for a second, really early Uber, going to make sure Walt doesn't get uh, killed by Demento over on Cliff. They're just really doing this for positioning, it looks like. They're going to be able to get the gun, but Boar is still out on bridge. Going to be an issue. Bomb Here it. comes Habib coming in, not able to take out Wall. Benny and Ronnie both going to be traded out. Frags going into Hades' favor, though. Wish is in onto Jared. If he can get this demo kill, it'd be great for them, but Boar is going to force him out. The gun coming back up bigger issue as the flank is still kind of running into second here and ad gotta come in with second it, roughly i want to say that's two minutes and 20 seconds which in any other situation would be an, again a very stunning time for them but still 20 seconds slower than the clip can deep brought and they're getting into the harder half of the map yeah you, you didn't jump out of the frying pan just yet you're still over those flames and now they have to make it up this third this grueling third point push that's so hard to take especially when you don't have uber advantage we're all going to be 20 percent behind nursey as nursey does have ready for this defense boar surfs out so we have a sniper watching that we have scratchy's gun up dev going down early not going to help the case of spamming that spy on the cart that cart's going to roll back down a hill <laughs> yeah he does, but the cart, the cart was stopped and it rolled back down, and every second the cart's not moving is, you know, percent chance you lose at the winning the game here, so... Yeah, right now, cart's not moving, Uber's not being used, they're kind of sitting on full Uber, which favors the defensive team here, so... It's kind of last second effort for AD coming in. They need to get this third push in one push, otherwise it rounds over. Yeah, Boar taking out Shane, not gonna help, but yeah, with a minute 45 on the clock, you can't wait for an advantage, you just need to go into this 9v9 uber First hope death. he can get something but yeah lizard able to land the pipe onto him so no snipers on this push mad gonna go down but the cart not all the way up the ramp gonna fall back down uber gets popped off but oblivion's doing a great job of denying it nursey doesn't even have to use right now and <laughs> the oh river. there goes river 
all the way off of the map. The planet needs him as he is gone. A minute 20. Ronnie is doing his best to get this card up. It is up the first hill, but not yet at the second. Wall going to go down on the back end to deep. Demento going to go down. Oh, tries to. Uh, he made Dev blow himself up. Yeah, I thought he was jumping off the cliff again, but he landed the landing. Only died a little bit after. But yeah, a minute left. Still two hills, and uh, we're going to take out it's, Jay. It's pretty. Looking a bit lost at the moment. They don't have Uber. Nursey has full Uber. It's going to be way too hard to get this in one push and snowball to last, so. It looks like KD will take the 1 0 lead here. Coming off, you know, a bit of stat padding going to happen here. Yeah, really not too much to happen, and you know, AD really did have it feel like the first and second push were down. Shay getting that pick onto Nursey was absolutely huge and allowed them to snowball into second. But when you think about their third, you know, they, they had the cart get up that first ramp like 90% of the time twice, unable to finish it. And then they sat on that Uber when you think you have two minutes left to push third, that is like, that is when you have to get your ass into gear. You need to get in there and say, we don't have time to look for an advantage. We need to go and just hope among hope that we can win a 9v9 fight against KD twice in a row basically you know maybe if they get a good enough third fight they can roll it into last to an extent but sitting around like that and letting Boar you know get kills is <laughs> that's gonna get grabbed cannon off the hill by the gun you know for a stupendous frag is uh not gonna mean too much but KD coming in very strong taking the first half yeah and in a vacuum the AD offense wasn't bad at all you know, they got their plays going, they got their momentum rolling. It's just when you gave, when Candy sets that fast of a pace and you gave up that easy of a defense with, you know, your drops and back outs, as well as you're not repositioning into tiles. So you really never had a defensive hold if you're AD. At that point, you you look at that for improvement because your offense went okay. You know, you, you do think that you can push on K and D in a reasonable time for upward if you're AD here. You just need to figure out how to make it so they can't completely floor you on their turn. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we can pull up logs if we want, but I still feel like that's when you when you have games this short, it's really not going to mean too much who specifically did well. We see Boar 12 and 5, obviously a good KD, but, you know, I don't think the game is really long enough for any individual player to really stand out. You know, Nursey having only one death again, that one sniper death on first means she's doing very solidly. You know, Walls drop on first, obviously not a good way to start, but... Again, it really is just about team synergy and team cohesion because Candy's able to play so aggressively on this map, always pushing things. You know, we saw them take like a 9v9 Uber on third and just win it out with their pressure and ability to play better. Oblivion with a very smart flank behind, able to take advantage of Ronnie going down. And just those few, you know, mistakes, not even mistakes, it feels like just someone's going to die eventually when you're playing TF2. And being able to capitalize on that as well as KD does is a very scary thing to have to go against. Yeah, Candy just so clean at spreading out, covering space, getting ground, and it's just so hard when you're playing against them to position in a way that allow you to contest them. They play in crossfires that teams that aren't, you know, as coordinated or are as good really just can't deal with. You know, it's just so hard to deal with all that damage coming in when you don't have the focus calls to put it back out. And you know, like you said, stats aren't really a good indicator. My my favorite stat right now on this log sheet to pull up is the fact that uh, Jacob had more kills and a lot less deaths than mad and when you consider the fact that there's 10 minutes of gameplay right the 10 minutes to go off of and jacob didn't die once per minute on spy while mad died one and a half times a minute it really lets you in on what candy likes to do with their team they like to go for coordinated plays where they just you know choke you out it's so hard to play against them when they do that whereas mad was going for a lot more solo plays because it seemed like that's what ad wanted to play off of you know on first we saw that gun not go down or not get focused at all because Mad was going for heavy pick, you know, the the, the, the play call there was probably just to go for whatever picks they could get instead of trying to make a coordinated push. And granted, when you get the snipe onto the medic at the end, it works out, but we just see KD able to play like, like a team, just so much more like a team when they're able to have those cohesive play calls. Yeah, moving into this half though, we will see AD on offense right now, so they'll have the chance to, you know, play out the full map this time and then they'll have to hold their own time, so... No, we saw Shay get that, but uh, I'm assuming my, my thought is that at least I think you want to get that gun down. No, we did see Mad get two heavy picks, which is important, but if you're not sapping that gun, the gun has, what, 600 health? A heavy has 450? Both probably do similar DPS. Sentry gun probably does more at range, so I feel like that may be something they want to work on. It's just getting that sap in, because I think that pick that Nursey, or Shay found out to Nursey, excuse me, is not going to be repeatable. So yeah. you need to kind of play off of that a little bit better, because we saw them get kills. They, you know, Shay took out Boar, but that gun was just up forever because with the spy not there to 
take it out, and uh, Dev, I don't believe, was DH spamming it like Aviv was, which is another great adaptation by KD. It really just stalled them for, you know, a minute on first, and you could argue it didn't end up mattering in the long run, but it will definitely matter here. Yeah, and a quick delve into the whole spy strike coming in. Uh, we did see Demento go for teleport early, which even if Mag got the heavy picks, we saw Kresnik able to teleport back and draw more pressure. Whereas when Demento saps Tele, it's not possible. We see Mad going for an alternate angle where he goes top left, but it's not synced with the bomb at all. Lizard, Dev, and Ronnie just get gunned down by the gun. Uh, I guess Mad got the soldier pick on the side, but he will not get anything else. So a bit of a weird play coming in as Wish got chased in the tunnel. They were just trying to look for whatever they could. Getting a soldier pick, not really the best when that teleport is still up, was if we do see Boar win the SBS. The teleporter getting set from spawn by Mad will get the entrance, so Soldier will not be able to teleport back. Uh, it does get chased down by Bandy and killed us, so they're going to be waiting on that respawn. You can't sap the gun now. Boar just railing off headshots while AD trying to position. It's just so hard, but oh, we just say the opening yeah. pick. That's really, you know, working it as many picks as you want, but the second he goes down, that's suddenly all offense sided right now. They're going to come out while using in very quickly, immediately. No sap on the gun yet. So this Uber really not doing much. I believe doing a great job of stuffing it. Mercy hasn't even had to use yet. She will use now. Off to Jared. River gonna have to sack his life here to deny this. Yeah, we'll go down eventually. But that's really the only kill going down. Uh, one on each side, it looks like, during those Uber trades. But again, that one for one favors the defense. No sap on that gun again means that Engineer's dead. AD has nothing to do. Yeah, Scratchy going down. Was she able to pick him out, actually? So it's only gonna Bad take on some spam. And he landed, he gets the sack extended on the gun. Chase. He got the but sack, yeah. so the gun goes down. To find the stab. And so, with the gun going down, your medic's backing out. That is the first point for AD. Bomb in from Lizard trying to get Nursey. One more pipe, doesn't land it. It's close. But regardless, they do get that point. A minute 40 is not the fastest. It's not game ending. So they will be on a, in a bit of a rush to kind of get going soon. You think though, KD pretty much already had second at this point compared to their first half, which... Uh, bomb in? Oh my god, he sinked those rockets on wall! Oh my lord, Habib showing off why he is an invite and one of the best players in this game, gonna take out Wall, and that took any momentum AD may have had off of that first push, and it's just gonna put it down into the dirt. Yeah, Death trying back. Trying to, yeah, Let's but he's gonna, he's gonna get Nursey to about 100 as she surfs out, and not nearly the same success that we saw Habib have, as more players on AD are gonna die. Their med going down means that they have, a, you know, the ability to sack in a little bit, try to get something as that Uber percentage has been reset. Kresnik going down. But Maybe Wall's to only pocket right now is mad, so she has to er, back up to get more healing. Only 25% the nurse is 100%. AD got a little fragmented there, but they are back together. Nice pipe onto Banny will buy them a little bit of space on this hill to work, but we just did dev bombing it, try to get some room. Now the rest of the team's walking up with them. Uh, Boar's watching this, it's a very tight angle, they need to force him off this rock, that's what Lizard's trying to do. They will get the stab onto Habib, so no soldier spent coming up, Boar's still there. Still scared to walk on the hill is AD, but they're looking to gain more ground now. Yeah, we see Mad though going for the soldier pick again, Jared actually gonna get caught out by Ronnie there, so no demo could be very big, Oblivion forced the tail out. Boar gonna go Boar's down dead. as well, as Dev falls off the cliff. But the picks are Uber. coming in, the Uber's gonna come out, Wall needs to make sure she can survive here, but Banny, too strong, gonna be running her down, takes her out as that Uber advantage does work. AD did manage to get the cart out of the tunnel and the gun during that time. Both uh, teams trading a lot of frags right now, but most of AD's alive members are respawns. River and Mad really the only ones in. Mad gonna take out Jarrett, maybe able to find the kill onto Khabib, not quite. Eats the rocket, and that card is basically right at the bend. So if they can get some hill pressure, maybe could tap it in. But with Boar back up and Nursey still having Uber at, it's still going to be an uphill climb. I have so, so many criticisms for that play from AD. You know that Nursey has Uber at, and you know they are trying to collapse in force. So Wall is out of position there to start with, but also where's River to deny Banny and give her time to run out? So you lost any chance of an Uber at you get from that force, and now they're sitting on the back foot again as Candy are resetting here. They have their gun set up in standard spot, but Shay looking to get them an advantage back. As you just get the snipe onto Oblivion. Banny trading on the wish, but Kresnik hiding! Oh, oh Shay, they were able it. to land the quick scope to save any of all of his teammates right there. They are going to get onto cart, and this should be a second cap. KD is already back far out to give it up, but four minutes through second is the same time KD had through third. As, new uh, round. We, we should yeah. put those uh, times out of our mind here. Boar aggressive on the roller coaster. Mad's there, but doesn't get there fast enough. So we're gonna live long enough to get set up on this hill. Looking to see the upper catwalk area as it does get bombed by Habib, forces Lizard back. Now Ubers are even, both teams at 100%. The cart needs to get pushed up a bit further. Sniper ends up trading for the other snipers. So no snipers kind of favors the offense to walk forward with this Uber here to get their trade going. Yeah, not too much. Oblivion playing very aggressively could have potentially been a sniper. Fanny takes out Shay. 
Demento very deep out on the tracks. Gonna let the cart get up the first ramp right now. Ronnie's still crushing it. Yeah, he did. That's no heavy in bend right now. We saw how well uh, Candy took advantage of that, but AD coming in now. The Uber is gonna get popped out. Oblivion though launches Lizard basically back into second. Cart's moving up the second ramp right now, and it will clear it. Now, yeah, Jacob unable to get both of them. Only one, so watch that cart right now. KD is playing very back. Matt's Shea should gun. be back alive, I believe. Or no, he got killed by Penny again, I think. Only he's respawning now, so yeah, Wish trying to get that cart up, but not gonna get it as he gets forced off, so Uber Trade gets one one ramp up, but that's it. Yeah, but Matt did get on the engineer. Scratch goes down, so does the gun. So now there's a lot more space to walk in if you are AD. Kresnik gets pushed out of that bend area again. He's gonna have to get a health pack. Boar standing in bend, which is a bit of an interesting position. Shay's gotten spawn camp four times in a row, I'm pretty sure, by this point. You need to escort your sniper up here. Boar's kind of got free reign onto this card. Yeah, really, you need that sniper to just apply pressure and force K and D to not play so aggressively on that card. River gonna get launched forward if it goes down to Boar, lands the body shot as Jacob had taken uh, out. Mercy got a soft and mad full Uber now. This is the yeah. edge of her wall, it doesn't have though, might just get the card up right now. And it Contested, looks like lads. he is, yeah. No, oh, not yet. It was, it flattened out, but it wasn't all the way up. Unfortunate there. Granted, Aiden Candy probably shouldn't have let that happen, so you could say maybe all it does is should be, but... That's the opener. Wish smartly caught them sleeping, unfortunately not going to be rewarded for it. Yeah, more going down means no sniper to deny this run up here. The Uber's gonna come in onto Rivers, doing that just to deny space, to allow them to get on the wall. No! No! All the way off, that new air blast is something else, as we've seen a couple times now. Unfortunate there, that's a, that's an alto death if I have to say, if I have to say myself, but uh... AD able to find frags onto a lot of the K and D combo. River yeah, X and Wish, here. yeah. River can air blast. They got and it up the hill though. Up. They got it up the hill, so that's the majority of the battle here. They'll need to get some space back. Or playing very aggressively. Very risky. Gonna keep his life though, dodges the pipes as he needs to. Twenty seconds on the cart timer before it starts rolling back. Someone's gonna need to touch that. AD want to keep this push going. Yeah, we'll, we'll be mad decloaking on it. We see Dev jumping on it as well. Gonna get bombed by two spy and soldier on it. They're not looking to pressure the carts to just stand on it. We just see Habib standing on to prevent the spy capture coming in, but we know Mad's gonna be looking for it. Getting pressured back from the hill RAD. Jarrett's spam oh. gets the kill and wish. Oblivion traded oh. back, but Mad can't get the spy cap. It's it is so inches close. inches away, but also it's a while away. ago, Banny found wall in the back, I believe, out on tracks it was. So that Uber had gonna be reset. This four minutes probably pushing six or seven right now. So even if AD are able to take cap this in, which I'd hope they would be with how close this card is, they're still gonna have to get through last. Yeah, poor Mad got shoved out, so the D cloak is gonna have to wait. He's gonna go through you, but gets caught by Banny. Great awareness there. Shay getting the sniper to oblivion. No pyro to air blast you means you can try walking up. We do see they have only sixty percent Uber to nurse's oh, cards though, rolling so back. it's risky. It's Wall needs to get a touch be... on this. Or wish, sorry, my bad. Either way, Wish gonna go for the jump onto the ramp, but it's denied, so actually we have the stickies, but Lizard getting sticks onto Banny. Oh, the demo going down. Snipe onto Jarrett. It's gonna be another oh, no, Jacob uncloaks and gets the butter knife. He's on an eight streak right now. Gonna go down to Shea, though, and Matt will tap the card in, but eight, ooh, minutes. eight minutes through third. If they can if they can get last in a minute, minute and a half, it's gonna be it's, doable. It's doable, but... But with how strong K and D played last time, for last half, it's it's going to be very difficult for them, and you really just need to see this last hole get through, which is what they should be focusing on. Yeah, we just see both teams up on Uber. Candy looking to make that transition from their spawn to tiles area, but it looks like ADR in that upper tiles from the spiral area. Candy not able to get there in time, so they will be playing from their spawn in the main gate. We just see Kresnik on the, the balcony looking to aim down, but we see Ronnie taking that tiles area, Mad getting in the back line. One push is all they can really take before this gets into unmakeable territory. So Uber out and tiles here early. Yeah, Wall well, must have felt threatened by either the spam or maybe the sniper sightline coming in, but that Uber really not gonna do too much. Yeah, they they have a they have this back kind of stairs right now, and they have upper control, but K and D really not allowing them to get too much ground. And Nursey sitting pretty right underneath the overhang. A good pick from Shay onto Jarrett will open up a bit of space. Habib trades for Shay on the back end as well. So no explosive class for KD. AD looking to get up this back staircase and take firm control of tiles. Demento will get air blasted out of there, gets get saved by the spicicles. So AD now with tile control, but Kresnik is standing on the cart getting tanked up by Nursi, so they can't push it in yet. Yeah, just again, I, when I mentioned last when I mentioned last half that holding this kind of front main area was doable this is exactly what i'm referring to you get your combo all set up here you deny them that main area 
and then have your flank just harass them in upper and unless their sniper can land some godlike shots there's really not too much you can do there banning force to go back to reese up gonna heal up but ad having this back staircase still can't really do too much in upper yeah shay's kind of trapped out in that area and he can't get up because of spam he will try to walk out main gets forced out bomb in forces walls uber before getting reflected great play by habib now nurse is sitting on that full uber advantage she will be forced to pop out here by the second from river so that will be at least a trade for me, and AD need to position properly after this if they want to get this card pushed. Yeah, I really just want to see Shay get an upper with the rest of the AD combo, because that's oh, the one weakness is more. Yeah, finds wall. If you can get your sniper into upper, then he can really destroy that hold with, you know, everyone playing so close there. But Shay, it feels like he's just been sitting in main the entire time, never really making the jump to move into Ooh. the backstairs area. River, River. chased down Nursi in main, so that'll even out the Uber to side, but still the issue comes from the fact that AD really can't find any positioning to enter onto this last point from. They've been trying to get into tiles, they get spammed out, they've been trying to peek main, they've been getting denied. Really, they just need to group up and find a way that they can force their way into this last. The cart hasn't even made it through the doorway yet. Yeah, it had been there a while, started rolling back, and we see, you know, uh, K and D going for a bit Ooh, more of a entry. passive hold right now. Not sure where Nurse is, I think she's up top. Can't see that with my uh, Spectator Wallhacks. Yeah, she's up there, but Liz are gonna go down. War got sniped out, so Exit trying to move the card up, but the spam coming down is just too much. And oh, there goes Habib landing Wish and Shay down. Going with Ronnie too. Yeah, the three K coming in. Kresnik gonna drop down as K and D now maybe seeing an opportunity to get back in upper wall and Lizar being forced back, but Habib's all the way in from oh Spyro my God, gonna Habib. take out wall. And this is just the last hold from hell for AD right now. Is that even with upper control and K and D, you know, just kind of playing by their spawn, they're unable to find any ground here. Yeah, again, it's just so hard to find ground against K&D. They play in a way that just completely shuts you out from all your entries that you'd like to take. Finally, they get shoved out of that close spawn entrance. They're kind of playing near their uh, near their spawn door right now, which gives AD a bit more room to walk up into tiles without getting spammed. But we do see just as fast they're back out there. Jared just denying so much space. Habib will get traded down, but Shay going to be killed by Demento on the back end. Jared getting stabbed by Matt. That's their best chance that they have right now. Yeah, maybe you can find something. River trying to get aggressive in main, not going to be able to find anything though. Oblivion doing his best to just stall out there and force them away from it. Kresnik as well. Wall now on 60%. May doesn't look like anything's immediately threatening our life from Spiral right now, so she may be able to get this Uber, but we saw before the Ubers weren't really doing too much. They're going to go lower to try to get this back staircase area again. River though, taking a fight, I don't really think he can win. He's going to escape from it with his life for now, thankfully, but... Wall on 90, hopefully able to do something with this next Uber. Yeah, hopefully, but we, we've seen Boar and the gun be up on this spawn balcony area for so long. Boar uncontested from what it seems like. It's been railing off headshot after headshot. And with, with Candy's board hold coming back again and again with this spawn gate, the cart's not gotten past that door. It hasn't. It's just stayed there the entire time. They cannot get it past this wall that is Kresnik and Jarrett. I mean, I I have memories of playing with Kresnik back, and I want to say it was season 17, and he managed to help us get this hold off, the same one they're pulling off now, and making it work is very difficult because you need all of your players to be on the same page to know exactly what they're doing, but K&D, again, we mentioned in the intro, have that experience from playing together. This is this is the golden age combo of Jared, Kresnik, and Nursi, so they all know what their roles and responsibilities are, and they've been able to hold, pull this off without a hedge. You know, you can you really don't see many teams able to get well, such an extended hold off. Yeah. They're gonna come in, they're trying to get a drop out of upper, Lizard getting in, Nursi gonna pop Uber, but Kresnik and Habib both going down there, Boar as well, so AD does have some frags in this right now, Dev gonna jump up top, the Guns gun is two. down, and he's gonna stop Scratchy from rebuilding, or can he actually, no, the gun's level 1, Mad's gonna get the sap off, and it looks like they finally have enough frags to get some ground in here, oh, Nursi and Demento the only one up, but Jacob gonna find two, that should help stall out the cart, maybe give it enough time for spawns, River and Dev and Mad still all in the spawn, but so it looks like AD Stab. will, no, yeah, they will get this in, but 13.58, not a time that's going to be very likely to be held. Yeah, 14 minutes, looking pretty grim for AD here. They're going to need to pull out a miracle defense with good hold, or somewhat decent holds on all their points. Some of their players clearly demoralized coming in here, so it, it's just goes to show how strong K and D can be when they're playing on point together, and it's just... It's just so threatening. It's so hard to look at this and think, yeah, this is realistic to beat if you're most of these teams in invite. And that's why Candy's been a perennial favorite for so long. And it's just so impressive to see them come in and put up these performances, like no matter what season it is, whatever, whatever iteration of their roster they put together.
Like this is yeah. the candy you can expect. Yeah, and I think AD got a bit of an unlucky draw playing them on upward. I think AD is a much better Koth team than a payload team regardless. But I, I personally, from my experience playing against candy, I think upwards their best map. Or at least it's in my again in my experience it's the map I would like to play them the least on, regardless of whether or not it's their best or not. Uh, just because again, you see this level of coordination allows them to do things on this map that other teams just don't. They haven't even we haven't really even gotten really to see a second hold out of them here, but they're sec they have a death grip on second if they're allowed to get pressure on hill, and we saw them pull off that last hold. That's one of those kind of eldritch holds that you just don't see teams able to pull off unless they have the depth of skill and experience that Candy does. Boar gonna ring out a shot onto Shea right away. Gonna open Another on the Yeah, so there's two gone. Nursey's still in spawn. Mad looking for the cheeky force in spawn. Gonna get her down. But, oh, she managed Fanny to bind. The Fanny bind away. I think she's down to 30 or 40 health there. So a very heads up play by Nursey, shooting the arrows out of spawn, trying to help her team. But Candy getting the cart pressure up. I'm surprised they haven't gone for the push yet. Yeah, Demento got the teleporter. We do see Exa uh, atomic the, the atomic wrenching back to spawn to put up a new teleport entrance, which is a bit of unique tech coming in, so that will be up for them shortly. But even shorter is Candy's push in. We do see Kresnek has gone up onto the playground using the rock jump, is with Banny, will deny that flank pressure. But AD's flank doing a good job to clean up, kind of, so that Uber will get popped in the front side. Gun goes down. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of coming in, I'm watching Mad Banny, unable to get any picks with it, but AD is going to be forced off as a result of that Uber. About a minute and 15 off the clock so far, as uh, Banny in behind, gonna be caught out by River, should go down, not able to find anyone. Could have been disastrous for Wall right there, but just uh, 12 and a half minutes stuff. per second is not a time you want to be looking at. It's definitely not, it's not the end of the world, because first is somewhat of a throwing point all the time. Oh no, Matt took the tally right as it was getting shot by Kresnik, so he will go down. Unfortunate, but uh, Ubers will be coming up faster for AD here. They have about a 20% advantage, but Mad was killed, so they probably won't know it. Either yeah. way, coming in, Candy will look to just get tunnel pressure to push the card up while they wait for that Uber charge coming up. We do see Nursey rotates heals into tunnel to help their flank take it, which is something a lot of teams can learn from. You know, help your team get that card time, don't leave them alone on an island. So with that, we do see Nursey coming up 85% to walls 100. They're gonna start taking heal pressure here. Yeah, I really need to watch out for what Boar is doing right now, see if he can get any angles in, as I don't see exactly where he is right now, but lots of hill pressure being gained by Candy. Wall Force very low, gonna have to pop off this Uber. Can they this? Yeah, it looks like Nursey is out in U-turn. He's gonna be forced to pop onto the heavy, gonna meet up with the demo now. Fanny coming in from behind, making the super a little bit more, and Wall gets caught out on the corner, unable to round that to safety, so the men gonna go down for Apollo Dosh here. Ronnie J and the rest of the team all uh, follow very quickly afterwards. And with uh, with really only the gun being the last person on second, they're going to fully back out and just wish and access surviving that. So some of the forward spawns coming in, but Candy's going to come down with second with 11 minutes remaining. Yeah, they all got to leave. We did see Wall go down at the end there, so Nursey will be at about a 40% advantage coming in. Aggressive bomb from Jarrett going to take out Sniper Demo Man. Bombing from Habib, the follow up gets Wall. So a great forward bomb is going to get them a ton of pressure. A couple picks do come back in, but Nursey survives, it's good. But hold on, we do see Wish onto Nursey. Oh, Dev, Dev come upper will trade that out. Yeah, very good to even out the meds there, because, you know, with just ten and a half minutes really left on the clock, you need as much time as you can get, and if you can trade that out, hopefully they'll be able to, you know, win the resulting med trades. Wall should be up about at the same time. Yeah, meds are going to be roughly even, Uber's negligible, unless one of them starts building way better than the other, but... Candy has the cart time moving up right now. They're almost at the first ramp, and really no pressure from AD, from AD to stop this. As Kresnik They're and Oblivion, They're pressuring yeah. because they didn't see a heavy in bucket. This is the most aggressive coordinated play you'll ever see from a team with no Uber on upward third. Yeah, they're in bucket right now with just no nothing really done. I mean, they have kills after the fact as four lands Four. Two. Kresnik's going to get another one right now. AD is just crumbling even without you know any Ubers involved. And KD again just really flexing here. Uh, they just took 100%, they took every advantage they could off of they noticed AD playing passive. They don't have Uber, they don't have high ground, but they noticed AD was not peeking or going for pressure. So they just walk their team into Bucket, they walk them up main, and they just get that point for what seems like free. Wall gets picked at the end, and now Nursey has 100% Uber advantage going to last out of nothing. Oh, and Jarrett's already up top, spawn camping that upper spawn. He's gonna go down Ooh, to trade. Dev, though. Yeah, good trade for that, taking out the demo, freeing out the spawn. Exa, though, not going to be able to get a gun up. Banny binds out of the shutter door. 
So that uh, that tech goes both ways, but Ronnie going down. The cart still has a little bit of time as Scratchy's time's wanting it right now, but it's almost in main in K&D. Looks like they're the ones holding last right now. It does. They have full towers control. AD's playing from their spawn, and they don't have the forward hold like Candy was able to do. They're playing from balcony, so the spam trades are going to be even. Boar does get killed by Lizard, though, from nice pipes. Wish getting traded back from Oblivion, so... But Boar having the upper... Or, yeah, Boar, Boar having the respawn means that they won't be able to contest Oh, Nursey got to pop get out here to let Jared jump into upper. They're going to be separated, though. Jared gets caught back up. Mad takes out Scratchy on car, but they're starting to gather on it. We're nearing the final bend. Ronnie is in the lower spot, able to potentially stop this. He doesn't get taken out. He There's still eight minutes there comes left, the by the way. From River. Yeah, River going to go sailing around the entire point, make it back into spawn safely as the cart is on that final ramp. But yeah, 8.36 left, you know. They've at least been efficient with their time. KD got one through three so quickly. The uh, the stopwatch timer had to, or the, the map timer, I mean, had to drop the uh, hit the stopwatch one. Yeah, a bit unfortunate from that side, but we do see Wall has the Uber advantage right now. 100% to Nurse is 50%, so that will be a solace for them to kind of take into this defense. Demento get the snipe onto Shea though, so Boar's gonna have open ground. He does find the pick onto Ronnie in that kind of heavy spot, watching the cart from behind. So without that, Boar gonna rail off another shot onto Axa. Gun's gonna go down short order. And now Boar with upper control. Wall's Uber isn't gonna really matter if they have no one to pop it out on. Yeah, they'll just need to hopefully get on cart. Boar getting more aggressive with this peak by the inch right now. He's trying to take out Shea. He will get the dispenser, I guess. Could Ooh. open a Shea, gets the shot onto Boar. Gonna find that revenge. Could be big there, but Wish gonna go down. So Benny's getting that cart very close up to the hill right now. Lizard's gonna be forced to drop down into the entire KD team as the Uber comes out. Wall uses onto River, but no one's near Cart. He's gonna have to dead jump forward. Oblivion, no, knocks Wall into the pit. And with that done, only River and Matt are alive on AD, but not for long, I believe. River, that's yeah, that's wipe. a full wipe, and KD's gonna tap this cart in for the 2-0 coming out here. Yeah, it's really a dominating performance from KD, showing why that they're the favorite team year after year of Highlander coming in just completely showing AD how you play upward, really. They took advantage of everything they could take advantage of. AD just really got exposed on a lot of their defenses. Their pushes were repelled. They didn't seem to know how to break Candy's holds when it came down to it. We saw both a five-minute offense and a 14-minute defense from KD in the same, the same game. I don't know what else you could ask from a team that's the prospect of number one. Oof. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Tough for AD here. Again, I do think the, the map is, is a bit to do with it. Might have been a little closer if they had been able to play a cough and if Arts had been here, since I know he contributes a lot to them. Whereas, you know, I think you may be able to argue that Bull is the better demo man as composed as compared to Arts, but I think Jarrett's a much more worthy replacement, especially given the synergy he already has on this team, than Lizar may be for AD. So it would be good to, I think, see these two teams play again with their main rosters on a different map, but... I think, yeah, KD really cement themselves as the number one seed and the favorite going into playoffs in a week. Uh, we can definitely maybe look at the logs here because they're definitely going to be a lot longer this time. Yeah, um, definitely a lot longer. Still just as telling as in not uh, very telling. 32 and 10 on Banny, 28 and 13 on Boar, 26 and 12 on Jarrett. That's the impressive one in my mind. 26 and 12 on your replacement demo man. And a lot of the frags came from that last hold where most of the map was played on. Yeah, 533 DPM on Jared as well. Far more than Lizard's of almost 200 DPM more. More than 200, actually. Uh, and again, Lizard, you know, coming in as a sub. Kind of have to feel for him. But Nursey as well, only two deaths in really, what, 21 minutes of game time? Good number to hold. Yeah, as opposed to Wall's 10 deaths. So from that you really glean about how many heals were put out. And in addition to that, just how much damage and how many frags candy are, are able to get when they play their style. It's just so hard to play against. You have to be forced to really play the way they want you to, where it's if they're holding you on cart, you have to contest them on cart. You can't really go tiles on that last hold. They'll just spam up at you and deny your cart pushers. It's just such a such a hard thing. I've said, I feel like I said it over and over, but it's just so difficult to play against KD because they just force you to play their game all the time. It's almost it almost feels unfair because it feels like if you have to play perfectly against KD to get any kind of ground on them, but they can drop players here and there, and you just still can't do anything about it. You know, like they don't. They were able to find sniper picks onto uh, onto Boar. They were able to get picks onto Kresnik or Habib and make openings on flank. AD was, but they just weren't able to capitalize off of it because KD's team play is so strong. It's like it adds an extra player on their team at all times, really, and just how well they're denying ground.
And it feels like their average is a lot of teams peak when it comes down to it. Yeah, that's a really good way of putting it where you need to you need to be, you know, swinging above your weight level and they need to be having a bad day it feels like to beat them. So again, I think this is an unfortunate draw as I've said before. Upward probably one of KD's best maps and if uh AD had gotten the luck of playing them on even like a Vigil or a Cascade especially, I think that would go a long way towards negating some of that those years of experience KD has built up on these maps. You know, the, the classic ones like Upward and even Swiftwater or Steel, as we'll see next week. But just such a dominating performance. There's really not much else we can say about it. We can sing the praises of individual players of KD's team play as long as, you know, as long as we want, but all of that I feel is pretty apparent from watching the cast. Yeah, definitely. It's just they're cut above. That's really all there is to say right now. And if teams want to contest for that first place come playoffs time, they're going to have to step it up. Yeah, so I think that's going to do it from us. Not really too much uh, post-match to go over here. Um, maybe you can think a little bit about what AD could do to improve. You know, it felt like Mad was maybe playing a little bit on his own, but, you know, maybe maybe get some more coordinated soldier spy plays and... I do like that on in the second half we saw Ronnie running uh, on first. We saw him running the stake in the Fist of Steel try to try to go in on first to make a distraction. But I, I, I personally love that adaptation that teams have been doing recently because it allows your heavy to get in on a stack. And what you should be doing is he goes Buffalo Stake, Fist of Steel, eats it you know right on the hillside, then runs in through tracks and tries to just get in on the med because of how short it is and how much damage resistance the Fist give. And whether or not you get in there, it's a good distraction for someone else to do something. But... He went a little early, so maybe that maybe that team play is just a little bit lacking. Whether or not that's just their issues as a team, or because Arts isn't their main calling things, again, hard to tell. But yeah, it's a bit of a tangent, but it's relevant because we did see, you know, as you said, some of their players went too early. Mad went for the soldier pick on the cliff for whatever reason. And when you do picks like that, when you do sack plays like that, especially when you need to get something going quick, your spy should be sapping the gun every time. Yeah, and we just didn't see it come through. Yeah, and I can understand that, you know, he got the soldier pick that one time on the initial sack because he was going back to get the telly, which, okay, sure, but then get back in on the gun, you know, during the Uber. Feels like he really wasn't able to ever get in on that during the actual pushes and just cause a lot of time stall. So, a couple things for AD to look at here. I think ultimately, though, they're just going to hope that the next time they play K and D, it's in a BO3 where they can ban upward. Yeah, definitely. Play them on any other map. An adaptation they could make. Um, but, yeah, again just said it but i think that is going to do it for us so we will see you all next week on cp steel trying to pull up the website see what match we may be casting oh no the all-time mic is back uh is it bugging yeah some very loud all right well it looks like uh ad versus invitus would likely be the best match to cast there but uh if my mic's bugging out then i think we'll call it here yeah. so zag you want to do the outro <laughs> uh Oh, no, I'm not ready. Thanks to all you viewers for tuning in. This has been RGL Highlander. We will see you next week for Steel. Hearts in the chat for Dolphin. Oh, yes, I forgot Dolphin, our boy. Hearts for him.